It's Monday, everybody, and you know what that means. It means I am bringing you the word of the week, and the word this week is get your hands dirty. Um, so carrying on from feeling your feelings, um, really the next step after that is getting your hands dirty, doing the work that is required um, in order to um, find ways to actually be more self-aware and um, finding ways to be honest with yourself, um, finding more ways to be honest with others about where you are at emotionally, where you are at mentally, um, and um, finding the best ways to really express yourself and communicate your needs and your wants. You don't want to be caught in a situation where um, you feel like, as I said last week, like you're unheard or you're misunderstood or your needs are not being met in any situation or you feel like you're um, doing all the extending and there's nothing, like there's no give and take pretty much. You don't want to feel like that because when you do feel like that um something something unhealthy is going on there okay so you need to be prepared to do the work and get your hands dirty um and i'm calling it getting your hands dirty because you will be getting your hands dirty um doing work on yourself healing um doing introspection um becoming self-aware it's quite a dirty job <laughs> and um it really takes some doing it really takes some honesty um with yourself and others um it really takes some accepting it takes some embracing um so sometimes yeah you'll be making progress but it's not like you'll be bouncing off the walls, um, feeling like a happy chappy, you know. <laughs> um, it, you'll come to certain realizations and, you know, you have to find a way to meet yourself there and um, really allow yourself to feel sad if you feel sad. Um, feel disappointed if you feel disappointed feel ashamed if you feel ashamed um but then afterwards then the dirty work um really really happens definitely don't play yourself thinking that it's gonna be easy <laughs> you know um which is not to scare you which is not to scare you but it's to get you mentally prepared um get you to understand what is ahead of you um so that you know that there is work to be done that it's not going to feel great all the time and i mean who feels great all the time <laughs> you know um you need to be realistic and you know, I know there's a lot of, like, um, positive psychology um, out here nowadays. And um, sometimes it's not really realistic. Yes, it's good to be positive, but it's also good to be realistic with yourself. And um, it's good to be honest with yourself. So if you're not feeling great, then that's fine, <laughs> you know? that's okay you're not feeling great and you need to just like that's that's information that's very valuable information um that you're being given there so instead of brushing over it with um toxic positivity rather um really look into it really ask yourself questions why do i feel like this um what realization did i just come to um, and what can I do about it? 
um, going forward. Because, of course, we can't change the past, but we can definitely do something moving forward if we want to improve our quality of life um, and our level of control that we have uh, over ourselves and over our lives. So um, get your hands dirty. <laughs> um, be prepared to get them real dirty, really get in the mud, um, really put in the work, um, and you will come out on the other side, um, as long as you're consistent. I mean, sometimes you may, you may not be consistent, especially in the beginning, but, you know, the will needs to be there. You really need to want it, because if you don't want it, then you're just going to be wasting your time, and you're going to be back at square one, um, once again, with no progress, um, and all that is just going to be wasted time. And besides wasted time, it's actually going to make you feel like shit even more because you will be feeling disappointed with yourself for starting something and not finishing. So don't play yourself. Um, be prepared to do the hard work. It's definitely hard work um, that you pretty much do, do it every day, um, constantly. Like, even I'm still doing work. Um, I'm not perfect. Um, I, you know, still have things to learn. Like, you know, we're students of life. We're students of this life thing, and we're constantly learning. We're constantly evolving. Um, and that is fine. <laughs> you know, that is okay. Um this idea of perfection and never making mistakes and you know just not living or not being or expecting um, realistic things and instead expecting things you know that we see on social media or that we see in movies or whatever the fuck um, it's it hurts. It hurts us. It hurts you. It hurts me. Um, and we do it to ourselves. So stop doing it to yourself. Um, take back control. And be the curator. Be the creator. You know, you're the one that dictates um, what actually makes you feel fulfilled. You are the one that dictates what actually makes you happy. You're the one that dictates what you actually want and so um let's not let external factors be the dictators and curators of our lives um let's take back control and really on that note um have yourself a great week um again feel your feelings, and again, um, be prepared to get your hands dirty. Um, I've been Coach Nomi. Um, take control.